this is an example problem one. It's a tossed up problem. Uh, solve this problem in your notebook to start the worksheet as I solve it uh, right now. So uh, the problem is a pole vaulter. Uh, you should read it before I continue here. But the pole vaulter uh, can jump a certain height, a world record of 6.14 uh, meters. And uh, you have to figure out first what speed he has to push himself up from the ground to attain that height. And finally, his hang time uh, for his whole uh, time in the air. Right. So let's start off with an illustration of our pole vaulter. Right? There he is uh, with the pole in hand. And he's trying to get over the obstacle. And there's his path right there over it. Um, we could label the height he gets to is his maximum height, it tells us. So I'm going to write D max equals 6.14 meters. Okay. And uh, we could start now to list our givens and try and uh, solve for first what speed, what initial velocity does he leave the ground with? Uh, that's going to be initial velocity because it's right when he enters the air. Uh, all right. So we got D, T, A, V, I, and V, F are always our givens using the kinematic equations. Um, we know that his D max, I'm going to write, is 6.14 meters. We're looking for his initial velocity to leave the ground, right? And while he's in the air, we know he is experiencing gravity's acceleration, which is a negative. 9.8 meters per second squared. Uh, why is it a negative? Because gravity always pulls down. All right, so now that we're mentioning the sign of gravity, we should also mention the sign of the distance. It's a positive. Why is his maximum height a positive? Uh, because it's a distance uh, from the ground. It, that distance goes up. So that's why it is a positive 6.14 meters. For a dropped object, the distance would be covered down, so it would be a negative. But with something tossed up in the air, it covers distance upward, so it has a positive distance. All right. So finally, uh, to solve this problem, right now we don't have enough givens to proceed. We have distance and acceleration. We need a third number to plug into our kinematic equations uh, before we can solve for vi, the speed he pushes off the ground with. Um, this is when we should mention that for every tossed up problem you do, I'm going to write it in red, like I wrote it on the board. Every tossed up problem you do, put this star underneath this problem. Tossed up problems use only way up. So every given distance, time, acceleration, initial velocity, final velocity, should all represent only the way up, not the whole flight, nor the way down. And that's going to be our problem solving method for tossed up problems. That's something you're just going to have to know. You're just going to have to remember. Uh, since we're only using the way up, let's check our givens again. How much distance does he go on the way up? 6.14 meters up to the top. Correct. How much time does it take him to go up? Well, clearly we will be using T up if we use time at all. Acceleration is always gravity is acceleration, even on the way up. Initial velocity is right when the way up starts. Good. And final velocity is when the way up ends. So final velocity is his velocity when he gets right here to the top because that's where the way up stops. At its maximum height we know every object tossed up in the air at their maximum height have a velocity of zero. So here that means the final velocity will be zero. And because we're always using the way up, the way up always ends at the top. So the final velocity will always be zero for a tossed up problem. You could be guaranteed of that. Um, so now you need to choose an equation to solve for his initial velocity. 
Uh, you can look at your kinematic equations. I'll just